the valley and uh, following the footpath. Come guess. Hmm. There we go. And, uh, today I'm off to Only to 10 miles, and uh, it's quite hard 10 miles, I think. Shelter overlooking uh, the bay, and we're going that away. Don't you just love it when you see a really high cliff? Oh, I've got to get up there. <laughs> Lisa chat, we haven't had one for a few days. I think it's just because I've been cracking on with the, the walk and enjoying the views and also the company of my friends that have walked with me in the past couple of days. Um, I was just uh, thinking about walking <clears throat> and the uh, past couple of days I've had an audio book to listen to. Um, just helps me walk faster and focus on walking and uh, not focus on the distance so much that I'm walking and um, but it's always nice when you're having a walk and to think about all your senses and I'm going to call it a sense state where you sit, actually sit down and think about all your senses and use them all and then just like reflect a little bit so for example today obviously use your sight sense all the time when you're walking <clears throat> but the flowers are just amazing around here you have the bluebells the wild garlic and also uh, I've seen a few orchids and yesterday I bumped into a really stubborn old toad that was stood right in the middle of a pathway and wouldn't move. And then I suppose the sense of smell and the smell of these flowers was incredible. But also uh, when you go into a little town, the smell of coffee and hot dogs and um, donuts it's just like, oh my goodness, it's incredible. I know they're not natural smells, but they smell really good. And then, um, <clears throat> sense of hearing, the birds, and the sea, and the wind, definitely the wind in the first couple of days. Sense of taste, and certainly, every bit of nutrition you eat on a long walk like this, every bit of food you eat, you sort of taste. And I think you, with along with the sense of smell, you taste the smells, the smells of the flowers. Does that make sense? And the garlic, the wild garlic, and makes you remember, you know, gorgeous garlicky pasta and all that sort of thing. And then touch and uh, feeling and with the wind as well and also your feet on the path and how your feet feel um, should I tell you how my feet feel okay I will my feet are sore and um, not sore blister wise but jointy sore and achy um, and I wake up in the morning they, they ache but as soon as I put my boots on and start walking after about five minutes that just goes away it's just great so I'm not walking in pain or anything like that it's just after I finish walking and before I start walking so I kind of guess walking's the best thing for them but they look all right they're not swollen I have no red patches 
And what I do <coughs> first thing in the morning is I just rub loads of Vaseline on about the friction in your boots. And then after my shower, when I finish, I just um, I just moisturise. So yeah, so that's the end of my Lisa chat today. Beautiful gazebo. I think it's called an Angel's Wings. nice little beach and uh, on my right in a minute you'll see Black Rock Church hopefully we can get a good view of it the tide's coming in at the moment If we don't, I'll probably kick myself and wish that I'd gone to the viewpoint up there. I'll probably be able to see it further around. Oh, there, it's like a cliff. Probably see it better later. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That old cottage. See all those headlands. In the distance, probably won't be. It's quite a foggy day. But I've walked all around those. And that is Black Church Rock there. Um, <clears throat> I had some walking companions, but they um, decided to uh, carry on straight when they should have turned right. I didn't tell them they were going off the path. They didn't listen. <laughs> Wimbury Point, one and a quarter mile. So, next stop. Yeah, so it's been a lovely little chat, and then they decided to carry on, and I saw the signpost and I actually think we should go down here that's going to a viewpoint but they carried on so what can you do to uh, drizzle a little bit now and uh, that's Black Church Rock there with the gaps in it so I just walked all the way around that headland and down and all the way up again going to be walking in the rain all day but uh, it's just clearing now uh, just lovely view that headland I'm wet but it's okay <laughs> coming up 
and I'm heading over that way. I don't think it's even been raining here, it's uh, crazy. I'm soaking wet, but it's, there's no wet on anything. <laughs> Just hit a little rain shower, I guess. Where I was earlier in the rain, and uh, just coming round on the point. There's a coffee shop down here that I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Walking down there, there's a coffee sh little coffee shack. And uh, had a coffee and mini nest shortcake. Oh, that's just what I needed. I was coming down from uh, up there and there's sort of two um, like walls of rock there on that that headland just below the green headland you can see two sort of walls of rock oh, I always wonder how those are made I'm just going along here and uh, I think there's a waterfall Came down that side. Um, the path's very close to the cliff edge. I was holding on to you can see the fence going up. I was holding on to the fence at the top. Um, it's not too windy today, but goodness, <laughs> it was a bit hairy. around here is just so dramatic. All the um, book and over there is called the Cow and Calf and then coming that's upright cliff and then this is called Gull Rock. Same whole point. Beautiful, isn't it? Up the landscape. We've been joined by Dot and AJ. Hello. And we're nearing Heartland Key now. And our camper van's over there. There's AJ. 
and down there is Heartland Quay. And that's where we've come from. Today's walk over there. Um, I think I've experienced lots of wet weather today. And also um, sunny weather and a bit of wind. And uh, we've been met by AJ and Dom, which was lovely. And uh, that's tomorrow's walk. Um, to Hotland Key because you know I've got to do all of it and uh, also I think there's a pub down here which is you know good when you've got a pub at the end of your walk now um, gone, it's gone to the sea, this is a beautiful hotel, really nice place to have a beer at the end of a walk, this is where the quay was and it's just disintegrated 